Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, Republic Records recording artist Jordan McGraw. Welcome to the show, Jordan. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, you're on the road as we speak with the Jonas Brothers. Very cool. How's it been going, and where are you at exactly? Uh, it's it's going as well as you would expect. I mean, it's they're the best group to be on tour with. Their fans are nuts, and everybody is just beyond stoked to be in in a concert venue with real live music hanging out so it's amazing i'm so fired up about that too and on the road they're not making the crowd are they making the crowd all mask up on most of them or uh a lot of people are doing it on their own but uh our tour in particular you have to show proof of vaccination or proof of a negative test within three days of the show okay so, then you can just party it up nice yeah exactly um what's been the best part of being on the road uh, you know, the first show setting foot on the stage, I, I couldn't help but smile ear to ear. It was like, you, you know, you like smell the sweaty people, see all the, the, the big smiles, hear the yelling. It's just like, oh, it's home. Nothing like live performances and that energy. You're, exa you're exactly right. Um, the latest single is called She. What inspired this one? Um, my wife and I were quarantining together. Or my now wife. We weren't married at the time. Uh, but uh, she woke up or I woke up and she was just sitting there glaring at me. And I was like, what? What did I do? She was like, it's nothing you did. It's something dream version of you did. And I'm holding you responsible. So, Oh my God. I have that conversation all the time with my wife. She wakes up like, to me. I'm like, oh, I had a bad dream. I'm like, well, that's not my fault. Oh, I have to I, play exactly. this for her. Go, keep going. <laughs> no, I mean, that's it, man. And she, she still wouldn't tell me what I did right. in the dream because she's like, I don't want you to get any ideas. I was yes, like, yes, yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're living the same life. That's exactly. exactly. If I, if I ever get a hold of dream me, I'm going to, I am going to just tear him apart. So, so funny. So does that have anything to do with your other single, Her? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the better side of things. That was the, that was getting her to be the one waking up next to me. And then, you know, it turns out I just, I, I even in her dreams, I can't keep it together. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I've had a chance to listen to your song, McConaughey, which yeah. is very cool. And uh, I, after uh, Matthew McConaughey, of course, my mom happens to be his number one fan. I, I even said <laughs> she got, she got a kick out of it. Do you know if he's heard it by the way? He has heard it. It was like Christmas morning. I woke up uh, to an email that said, uh, Matthew heard it and said, quote, I love this. And I was like, I'm done. That's it. I, I'm good. That's all I need. That's great, man. That's yeah. great. Uh, you're a dad too, right? I am a new dad. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. How old? Thank you. She's six months old. Oh, brand new. How you like I it? Think it's the best age though. It's like, she's got so much personality. She can like kind of sit up to play now. She laughs nonstop. I'm her favorite person. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's what I say. My wife says she's her favorite, but she's not here. So I'm going to take it and make it official. Yeah. I'm her favorite person. Yeah, no, little um, they love their dads. That's good. That's it's, good. it's the coolest job I've ever had. I agree. I agree. Um, is your family on the road with you or are you by yourself? Uh, so right now we're kind of West Coast uh, side of things. So I've been coming home on all the days off. So I'm, I'm home now. I just playing with her. And then uh, the real kind of distance starts um, tomorrow. And uh, they'll pop in and out. And then when we're on the East Coast, they'll kind of come do the same thing and stay yeah. there while I come in and out of New York. So um, we're making it work. It's an adventure. Hey, that's the job. Nice little balance right there. And yeah. have you always been into music or is it something you fell into later? Um, I started when I was 15. I, I moved to California in the middle of summer. So um, I had no friends. You know, I, I, I couldn't meet anybody at school or whatever. So I, I had my parents drive me to Guitar Center and I, I bought... Uh, the Tom DeLonge Blink-182 Strat, and I locked myself in my room and made horrible, horrible music until I found some friends to play with. And then we made horrible, horrible music. <laughs> and then it just kind of slowly grew into something fun and awesome. Oh, that's awesome that you uh, yeah. discovered it, then you, you fell in love with it. Um, that move, and you mentioned your parents. Uh, I happen to know your dad, a great guy, Dr. Phil, my wife. She she's always uh, cheating on me with him on TV. <laughs> biggest fan. She's the biggest fan. I got to tell you, my wife. That's awesome. What's the uh, what's the best advice your dad ever gave you? Um, I think probably that you would care a lot less what people thought about you if you knew how seldom they did. That's really solid advice. Yeah, you know, I used to kind of sit around and uh, you know you you find like one mean comment online and then you're like, well, there must be millions more. And he's like, chill, you're not nobody's sitting around going i wonder what i can think badly about jordan mcgraw 
you know, like he's like, people are at work, people are doing stuff, just live your life, have fun, do what you do. That's what I'm talking about. That's solid advice that uh, I think we need to pass out and pass down to our <laughs> right there, man. So exactly. When, when does the tour end and where can people find all the info? We'll put it up on our website too, but. Yeah, it's on my website, uh, on all my socials. Uh, the dates are up there. We're on tour until October 28th, I believe. And we, uh, we end here in LA and uh, it's just the most fun. So if, if you're, if you're sick of being stuck inside, come party with us. All right, we'll have to do that, man. Go to onwire.com for tickets and tour dates to remember this tour. Jordan, stay safe out there, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. You too. On with Mario Lopez.